So we're going to demonstrate range of motion of the front limb. So when doing range of motion exercises, you just want to put the joints through full flexion, full extension, concentrating on the comfort of the dog. So we're trying with the range of motion exercises just to keep the joint nice and fluid and get good movement. We aren't stretching, we're just staying within the comfort range of the dog. The best, best place to start is on the front limb at the toes. So when we go down to the toes, uh, dogs have tickly toes sometimes, so just work with that. We're going to work on range of motion of each individual toe. So you'll do flexion and extension, flexion, extension. On all the joints, you want to move them through a range of motion maybe 15 times, and then you can go back and do it again. You're going to feel for any kind of tightness, any discomfort. In the meantime, you can check for lumps and bumps, that kind of thing. So once you have range of motion in the toes, we're going to work our way up. So the next joint is going to be the carpal joint or the wrist. So you'll put it through flexion and extension, flexion, and extension. Now when you're doing the carpal joint you need to make sure that the elbow is in a neutral position so slightly flexed. If the elbow is straight you aren't going to be able to get much flexion of the carpus. So nice relaxed elbow, flex and extend. Now a healthy joint the dog should be able to touch their paw pads to the back of their arm if your dog doesn't, that is fine. We just work within what's comfortable for them. After the carpus, we'll move up to the elbow. It helps to have one hand supporting the arm, the other hand supporting the lower limb. You're going to flex the elbow and extend the elbow. Flex and extend. And again, you'll do that maybe 15 times back and forth. Then we'll move up to the shoulder joint. So the shoulder joint is right here. If you look, you can see a nice angle from the elbow to the shoulder joint and from the shoulder joint to the top of the scapula. So you have a little bit of an angle. So we want to make sure that we hold the scapula still. Um, if we do this, we're really just moving the scapula. We're not really flexing and extending the shoulder. So hold the scapula in place to flex the shoulder. We're gonna make that angle tight. So you can see the angle from the elbow to the shoulder and to the scapula. Make that angle nice and tight. To extend, we're going to hold the scapula and we're going to extend the arm out. Flex and extend. Flex and extend. The scapula itself is free-floating in the dog. It's held only by muscle. So you can actually take it and move it a little bit. So you can move it up and down, back and forth. That helps to kind of loosen up muscles as well. So that's range of motion exercises on the front limb.